Welcome to Remote Learning, everybody. Good morning, kids. How are you guys? So we're going to be doing our calendar first. Oh, before we do our calendar, we got a shout out to do. We have a teacher at Niles. Her name is Miss Alice. She's in room five. Today is her birthday. Yay! Happy birthday, Miss Alice. Thank you. Okay, so today, does anybody know what today is? Today is Tuesday. If today is Tuesday, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. What is tomorrow? Wednesday. So can we do our song for seven days? There are seven days. There are seven days. There's seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so today is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. Do you guys remember how to say May in Spanish? It's called Mayo. Okay? So let's count in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. Okay? And what is the weather like out today? It's not sunny today. It's going to be rainy today. It's cloudy and rainy. Well, sprinkling this morning. So I'm gonna put it in between, okay? So um, let's start doing our work today because we got a lot of stuff to do and fun stuff. So Miss Maria is gonna come do Spanish with you guys today. Hi, good morning, friends. How are you? I hope you're having a good morning. Um, so today we have Spanish. Um, and do you remember last week we did uh, Mi Familia? So this week we're doing part two of Mi Familia. So we will go over a few worksheets and that will tell us about Mi Familia. Okay, so we have the first worksheet. Can you guess what who this guy is? He has glasses, he's sitting down on a rocking chair and reading a newspaper. Did you say grandpa? Yep, that is grandpa. And grandpa in Spanish is abuelo. Can you say it with me, abuelo? Okay, so let's go ahead and trace the, the word abuelo. So we start with the a, B, B, U, E, L, O, Abuelo. And you can go ahead on this little box, you can go ahead and draw a picture of your grandpa. So it says, draw a picture of your grandpa or something you love uh, to do with your grandpa. So anything that you love to do with your grandpa, either reading with him, um, playing with him, anything. Or you can draw a picture of your grandpa. I will draw a picture of my grandpa. So we'll start with the head and then his eyes. And my grandpa wears glasses, so let me give him glasses. And his nose, and the mouth, and hair, and ears. There. And we can give him white hair and little wrinkles. Okay. So can you say it again with me? Abuelo. Grandpa is abuelo in Spanish. And don't forget to draw 
our color and your grandpa. So now we move on to, can you guys guess who this one is? Yep, you're right, this is grandma. And grandma in Spanish is abuela. Do you see how both abuelo and abuela sound the same? The only difference is that abuelo, since abuelo is a boy, there's an O at the end. And abuela is a lady, so there's an A at the end. Abuela, abuelo. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, write in abuela. So we're gonna start again with an A. B, U, E, L, A. Abuela. Can you say it with me? Abuela. Okay, so go ahead and either draw something that you love to do with your grandma or you can draw a picture of your grandma. Let's see, I'm gonna draw something that I like to do with her, which is reading. So let me go ahead and draw a book. I'm gonna draw like this. Uh, it's a little hard to draw a book upside down, but here, let's do it this way. And then I will write in here, Mi Abuela. M I me apu ella mi abuela book okay so moving on to the next page so remember abuelo is grandpa and abuela is grandma so to the next page we have can anybody guess who tío is did anybody say uncle? Yep, you're right. Tío in, or uncle in Spanish is tío. So we're going to go ahead and write in tío. And tío starts with a t, t, t. I, oh, this one's a little bit shorter. Tío. Okay, so tío is uncle go ahead and draw your uncle or draw anything that you like to do with your uncle so now we have this lady here and who knows who she is how to say uh, aunt in spanish auntie yep you're right it's tia just like tio but again because it's a lady there's going to be an a at the end instead of an o Okay, so let's write Thea. Raise your hand if you have a Thea. I have a Theo, an uncle, and a Thea, an aunt. Okay, so don't forget to color in your uncle and your aunt and draw something that you love to do or something or a picture of them okay oh and I, I forgot don't forget to write in your name and the date so right at the top write your name and the date okay and now our last page can you guess what this is yep it's a baby and how do we say baby in spanish bebe baby in spanish is bebe so let's go ahead and write in bebe so there's a b b b e another b and another e bebe bebe is a baby do you have a baby at home? If you do, go ahead and draw the baby or draw something that you like to do with the baby. Okay? And our last drawing is gonna be the drawing of our primos. 
Who knows what primos is in English? Primos are our cousins. So these are our cousins and they are called primos in Spanish. So let's go ahead and write in primos. Let's start with the P. R. I. M. O. S. Primos. Now, if you only had one cousin, you would just write primo. But if you have two cousins, then it's primos. So if you have more than one cousin, you will add an S at the end to make primos. Okay, and again, go ahead and draw something that you like to do with your primos or draw your pri uh, a picture of your primos. Okay, so now that we are done with this uh, activity, we're going to have Miss Anna join us. Thank you. Okay, today we're going to do advanced learning math. And in our classroom, we do worksheets, but the worksheets that we do are with a project called B stairs. And these are 11 through 19 B stairs. Okay, so what you do is there's little tiles that you put up here, and then you count. But I'm going to put this up here so you guys can see it, okay? What's the first number on this board right here? Can anybody tell me? It's a one and a one. Eleven. Okay, so when we do eleven with our bead stairs, you use a ten bead. Okay, so that's ten. How do we make an 11 again? By using what color? Red, you got it, for one. So 10 and one makes 11. Okay, what's the next number? Good job, 12. So we do these in our classroom. These are called bead stairs. And there's another one that I will introduce you to tomorrow that's called team board that you use 11 through 19 and you use tiles. But this is how we do it in class first before we give you any worksheets. And so I wanted to show your parents what we do for our bead stairs to go from 11 to 19. So you go to, well you go all the way up to 19 and you use the tens first and then you use the one columns next, okay? Would you like me to finish it? Okay, we'll finish, we'll finish it, okay? So after 12 comes what number? Thirteen, you got it. You know what, let me turn this the other way because the hooks work better. It's easier for me to put them on, okay? So there's 11, there's 12, now we have to do 13, what color is number 3? Pink, okay, then we go 10 again, and what's after 13? 14, and 4 is? One, two, three, four is yellow. Then we go to what's after 14? Boy, you guys are getting good. 15. One, two, three, four, five. 10 and 5 is 15. Next is 16. So there's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
goes 10. Next is 18, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, sorry, 17 is next. Sorry. 17. Then goes 18. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And the last number is 19. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So after we give you this, we give you one sheet that has 11 through 19, and you just color on them. So since we, you guys don't have this at home, that's why we give you worksheets to practice with. But when you come back to school, you could do the beat stairs, 11 to 19, or the one I will show you tomorrow, which is the team board that count these two, but they use tiles with it too. So this is one fun activity inside our classroom that we teach you guys to count to um, 19. And then you take it all apart so the next child could use it. Okay. So now we're doing our advanced learning number 13. Yesterday we did 11 and 12, so today is 13. Okay? So you find your 10 bead. There's our 10 bead. The 10 bead we made. And then a 3 bead. There's our 3 bead. And so we make a pink 3 bead. Okay, and then what you do is color those. So we're coloring our orange beads, our 10 beads orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what colors are three? Pink. So one, two, three. Okay, then you write your name up here. And then you trace the one first, the 10 column. And then the one column is the three. one column then the 10 column and then you practice writing it one column for the tens and the three for the one columns so one for the 10 column three for the one columns okay and we color apples how many apples are we supposed to color 13. Okay, I like green apples. So I'm going to color my apples green. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, okay, 10 is the 10 column, and then I'm going to do the 3 red for the 1 columns. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, and then you could draw thirteen objects, anything you want. Okay, so that one's for number thirteen. Now we're going to do the advanced one for number fourteen. Again, you color. orange and then ye four is yellow so you make a yellow bead counter okay and then you color those yellow Let's do orange real fast. What are the two numbers that make up 14? Can you guys tell me what's the first number? First number is? A one. Good job. Second number is what number is that? Four. Good job. Fourteen. So you color these yellow. So we got a lot of different ways of using our numbers in different jobs at the school at our classrooms and even you guys could do them differently at home too you could count your toys at home so you get out 14 toys count them separate them if you can by color get a macaroni count 14 make them into your beads okay there's different ways you could do your numbers Okay, one from the top to the bottom, top to halfway to the dotted line, top to bottom, and line across. Okay, and then make your own 14, top to bottom, the 10 column, the 4, line across. Okay, and then you could color up 14 basketballs and draw something that's 14. You could draw whatever you want on there. Okay. Next is going to be Miss Maria singing you guys' song. So, do you remember the song that we practiced yesterday? So we're gonna sing it again today, okay? It's the butterfly song. This is the butterfly dance. This is the butterfly dance. There are four stages to the butterfly. And this is the butterfly dance. Sit on the floor, you'll look like an egg. Now wait four days. Sit on the floor and curl up like an egg. Now wait four days. This is the butterfly dance. This is the butterfly dance. 
There are four stages to the butterfly, and this is the butterfly dance. Co, 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 my caterpillar crawls, and I'll eat green leaves. Curl, crawl, like a caterpillar crawls, and I'll eat green leaves. This is the butterfly dance. This is the butterfly dance. There are four stages to the butterfly. And this is the butterfly dance. Stand frozen still for my chrysalis. Don't move. Close your eyes. Stand frozen still for my chrysalis. Don't move. Close your eyes. This is the butterfly dance. This is the butterfly dance. There are four stages to the butterfly. And this is the butterfly dance. Spread your wings until they're dry. Now fly, fly, fly. Spread your wings until they're dry. Now fly, fly. Fly. fly like a butterfly. This is the butterfly dance. This is the butterfly dance. There are four stages to the butterfly. And this is the butterfly dance. This is the butterfly dance. This is the butterfly dance. A caterpillar chrysalis butterfly. This is the butterfly. This is the butterfly. This is the butterfly dance. Did you have fun flying like a butterfly? Or the four stages of the butterfly? Remember what the four stages are, okay? And now we will have Miss Anna join us with another project. So today we're working on our next three letters in the consonants. And this letter is letter J. Okay. So we brought out the lowercase J to trace. So you trace the dot. And then you trace two hands, I mean two fingers or one finger. Trace the J down and make an upside down umbrella. Okay. Again, trace the dot. Trace down and make an upside down umbrella. Okay, let's. I'm going to show you a capital J and then I'll show you a lowercase j. Okay, start from the top, go down and make an umbrella, and then you go left to right to make a capital J. You shake it. Then you do a little J, make the dot, go down, and make your umbrella, okay? Let's see if I could do both of them. Capital J, down, umbrella, left to right, lowercase is a dot, down, and an umbrella. Capital J, lowercase j. Okay. So, on our letter chart, we have J, 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 J. What letter is that, you guys? V, good job. Can you shout out the sound of V? V, V, V. Good job. What letter is this? Q and the sound again qua 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 good job so we're doing J and in our box there's not too many things that start with J that we could find we found a jelly or a jam jar both jelly and jar starts with a J does anybody know what this is this is called a jack can you think of any other words that start with J? 
J, J, J. Oh, I heard somebody say jump. But we can't put somebody jumping on here. So jump. Can you think of anything else? A jungle. Good job. That's a big one. A jungle. How about a jaguar? Can you think of anything else? This one's kind of tricky. You have it toward your mouth. It's called a jaw. When you open up your mouth, you move your jaw. Okay. And let's see. A girl's name Julie or John or James. Okay, so J was kind of hard to find things that start with J. Okay, so now we're going to do our paper. This one's two-sided. Okay, so let's see if there's another J word. Juice. We need orange and yellow. Okay. So first, write your name. Write today's date. You guys remember what today's date is? The 12th, 2000. And 20. Okay, so this one, the capital J does not have their line here, so we could just put it on there. Okay, so you go down, make your umbrella a turn, start from left to right to make your J, little one, trace the dot, go down past the solid line to make your umbrella. So capital J, little j. Start from top to bottom with an umbrella hook or a hook. Left to right, little j, dot goes above the dotted line. You start from the dotted line, go past the solid bottom line and make your hook, okay? So Capital J starts the color orange. Okay, so does anybody see a capital J? You're right, the cup. Okay, you see any more J's? Capital ones? Let's see, here's one. Gotta remember the only difference between a capital J and a little J is the little J has a dot. The capital J should have a line on the top. Okay, the little j is yellow. So you see any little j's? Right, the straw. And then the rest of the juice triangles or water drops 
shape. <coughs> okay, that's that page. Then you cap write capital J's. Here you could write capital J's. <coughs> Excuse me, try to write your little J. Okay, and then you're going to color things that start with jet, like jet. <coughs> so a jar with jelly beans. Can you see any more? A jeep. There's two more. Good job. A jump rope. This one's hard to color. Okay, one more. This one is kind of hard. It's a jack in a box. Okay, and what sound does Jay make again? Ja, ja, ja. Good job, you guys. Okay, and that's your letter J today. Okay, next Miss Maria is going to do our project. Okay, friends, so today's project is uh, called Parts of a Butterfly. So we have a butterfly here, and we have the parts of the butterfly. So I've already written the name, or the name of the parts. So if you like, go ahead and grab your uh, worksheet, and um, I'm going to go ahead and trace the, letter, uh, the words in here, and so you can follow me. So, can anybody tell me what these are? They're at the top of the butterfly. Yep, you're right. These are antennas. Antennas. And let's follow the dotted line. And we're going to write the, the word antenna in this box, okay? So, we're going to write the letter A. N. T, E, N, N, A, antenna. Okay, now who can tell me what this part of the butterfly is? Yep, you're right, that's the hen. The antennas are connected to the hen. Okay, so now let's follow the dotted line. And let's write head in this box. So let's start with the letter H, E, A, D, head. So now let's move on to this part right here. It may look like a leg, but it's not a leg. Who can tell me what this part is? Okay, so it's called a probasis. So this is what the uh, butterflies use to eat. So this is their, kind of like their mouth. Okay, so probasis. Let's write the word probasis in here. Let's follow the dotted line right here. So P R O B B Um, o, S, C, I, S, probasis. Okay, so now let's see. What about this part? Who knows what this part is? This is called the thorax. Thorax. So 
So let's go ahead and follow the dotted line. And in this box, we're going to write thorax. So let's see. We're going to start with the T. H. O. R. A. X. Thorax. Okay, what about this? These parts. Can someone tell me what these are? These are the butterfly's legs. Yep. So let's go ahead and follow the dotted line into this box. And in this box, we'll, we will write leg. So leg starts with a L, E, G. Leg. Okay, now this part. This part right here, it's called the abdomen. Can you say it with me? Abdomen. Okay, so now let's follow the dotted line into this box and we will write the word abdomen. A, B, D, O, M, E, N, abdomen. Okay, now, do you see these lines here? These lines on, on the wing, the lines are called wing veins. Okay, so all these lines on the wings are the veins. So wing vein. So let's go ahead and follow the dotted line onto this box and write wing vein. W, I, N, G, space, and let's write the word of vein. V, E, I, N, wing vein. And now the last part, what can, can anybody tell me who, what this part is? This big part. Yep, these are the wings, the wings of the butterfly. So let's go ahead and follow the dotted line into this box and write wing. W, I, N, G, wing. So these are the parts of the butterfly. Antenna, head, provasus, thorax, leg, abdomen, wing veins, and the wings. Well done. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next page. And since we've already labeled all of the uh, butterfly parts on this page, we have the parts again. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw your own butterfly and label its parts. So go ahead and draw the butterfly, however you like to draw it. So I'm going to draw the head first, then the body part like that, and then the wings, another wing, the antenna, the mouth, and the legs. And then the wing. Remember, the wings have veins. So go ahead and draw the vein, veins. Okay, so go ahead and draw your own butterfly and then cut out the body or the parts of the butterfly and then label them, okay? So now we're going to move on to. Um, our art project. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we are going to need for this art project is glue, a toilet paper uh, tube, um, a pen, a pipe cleaner, and a pencil and construction paper. Any color you like. 
Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the toilet paper, paper uh, tube and we're gonna wrap construction paper around it. So I'm gonna use the color blue. So I am gonna cut, and if you like, you can go ahead and measure the toilet paper. And then with your pencil, just draw a line right there. And, oh, and also I forgot, you're gonna need scissors. So go ahead and cut your blue paper or whatever color you're using. So we're gonna have something like this. And then we're gonna have our toilet paper tube and we're gonna put a little glue on this. Oop. Okay. Oh yeah, and I forgot, we're gonna be making a butterfly. So go ahead and like that. Roll, roll, and then with your pencil, you can go ahead and trace again. Go down, oop and then go ahead and cut like that. So now we're gonna use a little bit more glue. Okay, so we're covering the body of the butterfly. Okay, just like that. So we're gonna have to press it down really hard so it can and glue, okay? We can glue it together. Press, press, press. Okay, so now that we have the toilet paper roll covered, we are gonna do the wings. So now I am gonna grab my pink construction paper and I'm gonna fold it in half. So go ahead and fold it in half. And with your pencil, go ahead and draw wings. So draw the wings as big or as small as you want. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut. I might have drawn my wings a little too big, but it's okay. Okay. And if you need help, go ahead and ask mom and dad or brother and sister or sister. Okay, so these are my wings. So now, this part where there's glue, I'm gonna go ahead and put more glue to tape, to glue my wings. Just a little bit like that. Now I'm gonna glue the butterfly's body, body onto the wings. And now I'm gonna draw face. So you can either uh, put stickers or you can draw in the eyes. So I'm gonna draw it in. I can't really see it, but I'm gonna draw two circles. Hmm? Oh, let me use a black crayon. Oh, no. um, I have a marker here, but if you don't have a marker, you can use a crayon. Okay, so two eyes and a mouth. Okay, so now we are going to use our pipe cleaners to glue them in here. And if they're too long, sorry, too long, go ahead and cut them. And then put a little bit of glue like that and glue them to the inside. Okay, Oop. you have to press really hard, or maybe let me put a little bit more glue. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Okay. Uh-oh, my antennas are not gluing. 
If they don't glue, it's fine. You can either use tape or um, anything that you can find at home that will glue. Poke a hole. Or you can poke a hole. Or here, let me put them back here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a little trouble with my antennas, but this is what my butterfly looks like so far. And if you like, you can always make the veins. Decorate it however you like, okay? Like that. And don't forget to uh, draw in their legs, okay? So this is what my butterfly looks like. Well, my friends, thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. And let us know what your butterfly looks like, okay? Bye!